Hello again, it's Vicki with Condi Systems Technical Support in CorelDRAW X6 with a brand new feature uh, within the power clip. No, the power clip feature is not new, but there are some additives that uh, you might want to know about with the Corel 6 version with power clip. Much easier to use, more user friendly, and um, I'm going to show you how to go in and go to your options and edit the actual uh, things that you can turn on and turn off about it. Also, I'm going to show you how to use and show you the changes that have taken place with the new version of Corel X6. So along with some of the other videos that I've made for X6, um, new features, questions that get asked here is what's new in Corel. So I've made a lot of videos to demonstrate the new tools, new, doc, new, new dockers, new properties and uh, placement men menus. One of the new videos is the um, Power Clip tool. Uh, Power Clip tool has been around for a long time, but with X6, they really did an outstanding job of enhancing it. So I'm going to demonstrate some of those features now. So first off, I want you to click on the Tools menu and then go click on the Options menu. I want to show you what your options are. Um, once you get the options dialog box open, you can go to the edit and click that. Down here you have some options for power clip fr frame. These options are um, how to position the objects in which you put into the frame. Always, never, and when content is completely outside of frame. So these are some options you have. Once you choose this option, that's the way it's going to default for you when you go onto your document. So I did want to show you that. I choose this one here. I like it best. Um, these things is whether or not it'll show up and where it's going to show up once you use the power clip. So if you're if you're uncertain or if you can't see your actual um, graphic or your object once you place it in the power clip, you might want to come here and uh, change which one you have selected. So that's that's a question we get sometime also was um, they can't find their image after they uh, use the power clip. Well this right here is would be why. So make sure you've selected this the way you want it. I'm going to click OK. Alright, so the first thing I want to do again, my video here is going to be basic. It's going to show you how to get to the tool, how to select the tool, um, how to use the tool, just basic features within the Corel Draw X6, um, nothing that goes into extreme detail with your graphics, but this is basically to show you how to utilize the tool and the questions that we get asked here at Condi. So let's get started. I'm just going to draw something on the page. And I'm just going to use this as my, uh, let's say this is going to be my, my, my little template where I'm going to power clip into. So um, I'm going to leave it blank. Now what I want to do is maybe draw something, uh, maybe of a different shape so I can demonstrate better how the power clip is used. So I'm going to put some color in here. And I'm going to keep my object selected. And the reason why is when I go to power clip this end of this box, what's going to happen is uh, it's going to ask me to select the object. If you don't have the object in which you want a power clip already selected or with this you know border box around it, then you need to go ahead and select it now. Um, I'm going to go up to Effects, and I'm going to click uh, Power Clip, Place into Container, or Frame, and I'm going to choose the frame I want to place it in. As you can see, it centered it in there based on the Options menu way, the way I had it selected. Um, so what's great about this new feature in the Power Clip, um, this new Power Clip feature with X6, is that now you have a little docker here and you can fit the contents, you can lock the contents or whatever. If you want to edit the contents you can pull it out, um, place it here, select power clip contents, you can do that as well, or you can extract the contents. When you extract it, as you can see, you have this box with this X on it that's new, that's something we didn't see before. So now basically what I can do, 
uh, with that is to right click or basically go to edit power clip place it place inside frame so you noticed how when I placed it in the side inside the frame this time it basically is partially there you can see exactly where I had hovered over the actual template and then went up and placed it into the frame and it stayed in the position in which I placed it in okay so that's one of the great features with the power clip and the docker bar, bar down here that wasn't there before with the earlier versions of of uh, Corel draw so now I can also create other shapes to place inside this same template if I want and um, as I hover over it you see it it uh, puts a highlight over the box so I can um, also right click and power clip inside the frame so now I can place multiple objects inside a power clip frame so again this is Vicki with Condi Systems I hope this video has helped with some basic information about the new features of the power clip within Corel Draw X6 if you have any questions or concerns you can contact us here at 1-800-826-6332 my name is Vicki and as always I thank you for your time